Hi guys, this what you see is a 18650 battery tap spot welding machine. So guys, these two are the welding arms and these are the two bolts that are for holding the electrodes. And here are the copper electrodes to be used. And I will have to use this allen key to open the bolts. The upper display is for setting the pulses and there are only two pulses and the lower one is for setting the current amount of current and these are for setting taking the current up and down and this is for confirming the selection and this is the main power on off button and this point is for connecting the leg press switch and there is one more thing the welding pressure adjust up and down and according to this adjustment this is going to make a click sound which represents the contact made with the internal terminals you see you will hear a sound i will bring it closer to you yeah i think you heard that anyways uh, so yeah let's connect these two terminals to this 220 volts ac switch but before we do that let's turn it off and connect the electrodes first these are uh, the two fuses that you get in addition to the one already present in the machine and then, so these three are what we are going to need at present for connecting the electrodes Make sure guys that the two electrodes never touch each other. So guys after connecting the electrodes, you have to connect the power supply cord. Okay, let's do that. And turn on the switch. Now guys the switch is turned on. The power cable is still turned off. Let's turn it on. You see the set display has started. It's showing two pulses and current 40 amperes. So guys these are the default digits that you are seeing set at two pulses and a current 40 amps so guys before turning on the supply comes the time of foot switch connection okay 
so when this is going to go completely up until it makes the clicking sound then after that you have to press the switch and release and it is going to do the welding guys now comes the battery and the case that is going to hold the battery let's connect it this way it's an old battery as you can see and the strip okay so guys let's turn it on one on now comes the second this also on let's place the strip like this and there are lights uh, below it for illuminating the area of weld now press it contact has been made now press the leg switch and welding completes you see it's stuck and here as you can see sharp weld it's not going to come out pretty good well at 40 amps two pulses now let's make another one here clicking sound made by the welding machine now press the leg switch yeah and done you see welding done actually guys this uh, projection came beneath it because of which the welding was not successful so i'm going to take a little gap like doing the weld over here okay go and guys welding still not done after close inspection what i found out that there was a lot of dirt and since the voltage output of this machine is very low although the current is very high it is not making contact with the battery below because of which the strip is not welding so first i will have to clean it so what we learn from this is always clean the terminals first before doing welding if you are welding the batteries that are older okay so i will have to clean the dirt first you see the dust so yes guys at least this portion is clean now so i'm going to try and weld over here let's check if it works or not and now as you can see guys welding completes you see so always clean the batteries if you are going to do welding on the older batteries otherwise it is not going to stick to the battery terminals you see the welding was really really strong and here is the welding mark after cleaning up the terminals so it's always better to clean up the battery terminal while doing welding it's going to ensure a good and proper weld so guys that's all about the review video for this product link will be provided in the description thank you so much for watching it thank you